All right, so we got the front changed out, so now we're switching over to the back because my air shocks, one of them is blown. And so uh, I've gotten to work on this, fixing to take this shock out. And so I had to take the inner fender out to get to everything. I'm also gonna replace the little pump because it's making a whole lot of noise. So I figure while I'm at it for 160 bucks, might as well replace him and I'll redo these uh, air shocks and we'll leave everything the same on them. So we're gonna leave the electronic control on these and uh, hopefully that'll help us ride in the back good plus we have the air but just to show you a little tip i got it up on the lift and if you look when you take the nuts off the uh bolt that holds the bottom on is is still pretty tight but what you can do if you're on a lift what you need to do is support the other side this one i haven't done yet and so i'm gonna <clears throat> start on this side but support the other side so the vehicle can't tip over and then all you're going to want to do is just jack underneath so you'll see what i'm talking about it looks like actually the shock is what's holding up the uh, or holding the suspension from falling down so watch this as a jack there'll be a point that that wrench will loosen up but right now the wrench is held kind of fixed so you can see it hanging there so it's still got some tension on that bolt so you could get it out but Something's gonna drop, so you might as well go ahead and get a jack underneath this. But watch as I turn it, there'll be a point that when I keep cranking the jack up with it held over here so it can't tip sideways, you'll see I'll reach the point that the bolt will free up. And then that wrench will fall. And so then you know that at that point it's loose. So just a little tip for you, and get it just right, and then you can just take that bolt right out of there. If not, you're going to work yourself to death trying to get that bolt out. So just a little tip. And now we got it loose. It'll be easy to take out. And uh, then we can do the upper. And away we'll go. So much nicer than having to fight with it and then suddenly something pops loose. So all it is is two big bolts. We'll get these out, get the motor out, and get the other side done. This shouldn't take too long at all. All right, so now we've made it to the pump removal. So we got the little pump out. And if you look real close at the new pump, you'll see it's got one bolt here that holds it. That one goes through the frame. And then it's got two bolts on this side that have nuts over here. <clears throat> so you think you maybe have to take all those loose. Really all you gotta do is loosen them up because GM was really nice to us. And what they did is they put slots so if you can see that one slot, that's where one goes. And then right here by the connector are the other slots. And uh, what they do is allow you just to loosen the nuts, even the one that goes all the way through the frame, loosen them up and then you can just raise it up and slide it sideways. And uh, you'll be able to pull it right off there. So you don't have to worry about taking all those nuts loose, just loosen them up, wiggle it a little bit, and the thing will pop right off there. So this install is pretty easy. All you gotta do is just take the stuff loose, take the old one out, throw the new one in, tighten the bolts up, and hook all the connectors back up. So easy peasy for this part of it. So we've almost got this whole system done. And probably if I was rushing, could do it in maybe three hours if I didn't have bolts that were rusted and things like that. And uh, taking the time, probably take about five to do the front and the back. So not a bad deal at all to improve our suspension. Alright, so the last thing on our list, now that we got our uh, pump put on and our suspension put on and everything put on is we need to disconnect the battery for, I don't know, a few minutes I guess and get it to reset and that way it'll re-trigger that pump in the back. It cuts on right now, but it doesn't stay on just a couple seconds and uh, so I think I have to reset it uh, by taking the battery loose and let it learn it's home again. So we'll get that done and then hopefully we'll have everything done. Alrighty, well thanks for watching.